What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you my Lego San Francisco cable car. I recently came back from my trip in San Francisco and I got inspired to build a working Lego cable car. So as you saw at the beginning it's fully functioning as a cable car would except it's not connected to the cables on the ground obviously because that would be pretty tricky to do in a minifigure sized Lego creation but it still drives pretty well so I'll show you all of the details so around here you can see the motor and the battery box semi hidden in the cable car and I'll show you a bit more on the motor later but starting with the front you can see the windows and the light at the front and of course the seats on both sides are where passengers can sit so around the top you have the slightly raised section just like in the real thing and that's not to hide the battery box this part or anything uh, this pit's more to hide the battery box but it also goes well since in real life the top part is also raised so if you just turn it over on the side you can see the switch here to power it on and off and it only goes in one direction just like the real cable cars until they get to a turntable so I included that feature as well and here you can see they're blank but otherwise uh, still pretty realistic signs at the top the yellow parts and they would show the destination of the cable car and then round to this back part you can see this is where you can fit most of the minifigures on you can see the number of the cable car and some bars for the commuters and tourists to hold on and the two lights at the back now you might have noticed this motor sticking up here rather out of place but that's because it has to be connected to the battery box which is uh, next to it on the left this grey part whoops <laughs> but anyway apart from it being slightly tricky to hold if we turn it over underneath just take this minifigure out you can see the gears which work with the system just there so as you can see when they're connected the gears if you switch on the motor on top you can see this is how all the wheels get all of their power and speed and of course you can see how hollow and empty it is inside because really everything that's inside the cable car is just a battery box so I hope you liked my Lego cable car mock and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you did Thanks for watching.